Hi there, this is Tracy with Yoga with Tracy. Uh, this is a little sequence I'm dedicating to my sister who's having a little bit of wrist pain. So we're gonna start in a seated position, shoulders stacked right on top of the hips, hands on top of the knees. Let's take the left arm all the way up, breathing in and breathing out. The reason why we're doing this is because sometimes wrist pain comes from the back of the body. So what we're gonna do is stretch gently into the rib cage and into the back of the body. So as we thread this little imaginary needle, breathing in and out, think about opening up the chest and then stretching into the back. Let's do one more here, in and out. Very good, other side. Inhaling, exhaling. In, chest open, out with the breath. Inhaling, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Feel that stretch right into the back of the body. In, and out. Well done. Let's take the hands down and roll up the shoulders. Three, with breath. Two, and one. Very good. Now let's look over to the right. Come back to center. Let's look over to the left. Come back to center. Right ear to right shoulder. Sometimes again, back of the body, sometimes the neck comes all the way down to the, the wrist. So we're gonna take gently our hand to our head, send some action through that arm, down to the wrist, down out through the fingers, breathing in and out. One more breath, inhale, and then exhale, release. We're gonna do the other side. Ooh, this is my grumpy side. Left ear to left shoulder. Sending energy out. Taking the hand to the head. Soft shoulders. Soft breathing. Inhaling. Exhaling. Breathing in. And then releasing, breathing out. Let's take our chin into our chest. Little chin tuck here, lengthening the back of the neck, looking down, inhaling and exhaling. Okay, gently look up. We're gonna roll the shoulders out again. One, two, three. Let's take the arms all the way up. Touch the fingertips together. Take the hands of the heart. Again, breathing in and out. Hands up the midline. I want you to imagine you're holding a gentle little ball with sway to the side, expanding the rib cage, opening up the chest and the back. Inhale back to center, soft shoulders, relaxed wrists, breathing out. Inhale back to center, exhale back to the original side. Inhale back to center, relax those shoulders, exhale. Inhale back up and let's release. Okay, roll the shoulders out again. Three, two, and one. We're gonna open up our arms. Big, big, big arms. Expansive arms. Breathe in here and then exhale. I want you to give yourself a really big bear hug, grabbing onto the back of the body. Breathe. Inhale, open up. We're gonna switch our grip. Breathe out, switch. Grab onto the ribs behind you, your shoulder blades. Inhale, open up, switch the grip, breathe out. Inhale, open up, and exhale, switch the grip, breathe out. Very good, inhale, lift up, and release. We're gonna open up the arms. You will interlace those fingers, reach all the way up, stretch to the side again. Come on back to center, breathing in, soft shoulders. Breathe out, relax those shoulders. 
Come on, back to center, lift. And then let's open up the back of the body. So we're expanding. This is kind of like a little mini cat pose, pushing our knuckles to the front, drawing the belly to the back. Very good. Come on, all the way up. Inhale, this time draw the belly in, lift up the chest. Imagine you're on this beautiful sunny beach. Mm, love it. Nice deep breath here. Inhale, expanding the chest, drawing the belly in. Inhale, and then exhale, release. We're gonna open up the arms, roll the shoulders out. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we're gonna take gentle pressure on the outside of the arm. We're gonna just massage and press down on the outside. Then we're gonna come on the inside of the arm and all the way across. So on the outside, the yang part of the body and the yin part of the body on the inside. Gentle massaging pressure. So your pressure, your practice, your body. So for me, I like it a little bit more firm. For some people, depending on how the body's feeling, maybe you wanna be a little more gentle to yourself. It's not a no pain, no gain situation. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time on the out and on the in and always with breath. Wonderful. Now, with a gentle little cupping of the hand, we're gonna tap and tap all the way down. Now, if this vibrational action is kind of hurting the wrist, then I want you to omit this part or go very softly because what we're doing is what we're doing is we're activating the chi, our life force, our prana, our life force, and our blood so that we're activating it in the arm to translate all the way down to the wrist where we have our pain. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time, gently, or more firm. Your body, your practice. Well done, I'm gonna shake that out. And now I want you to just gently grab onto your elbows and kind of where your thumb is placed, you'll see there's a little crook right here. We're gonna gently rub into this place right here. This is large intestine 11. This is an acupuncture point, an acupressure point that helps to reduce inflammation. It's kind of like our fire engine point of the body, reduces heat, reduces inflammation of the body. So if we activate this, maybe it will help any sort of pain or inflammation that's going on in our wrist. So as you've massaged right here in this area, I want you to start rubbing all the way down, down, down to the wrist. Now just above the wrist, about an inch or so above the wrist, we're gonna press right into this point here. Another really wonderful point to activate the energy going down to the wrist. So you don't wanna to put too much pressure that's gonna hurt your other hand, but just enough pressure where you're feeling something. Okay, and then I'm gonna go all the way down and out through the fingers. Let's do the other side. So again, right here into the crook of the elbow. See the little bend here? Just gentle pressure. And then again, massaging all the way down. Of course, I'm right-handed, so it doesn't feel as smooth on the left hand, but you do your best, okay? Relax the shoulders. And again, just above the wrist, it's about an inch above the wrist or so. Just gonna gently press, press into this area. And then, of course, with your mind, sending that really beautiful, loving energy down to the wrist, and then it come all the way out. Very good. Now, there's another point right here between the thumb and the index finger. We're gonna just gently massage into that area. So I'm using my index finger, or you can use your thumb. Again, it's not a no pain, no gain situation. You do what's best and most comfortable for you. Very good. And now we're gonna switch the hand to the other side. Are you breathing? Are you conscious about what you're doing? This also helps with enjoying that beautiful yoga, mind, body, breath connection. Okay, we're gonna shake that out. Now, I want you to gently massage into that space on the outside 
And of course, now on the inside, focusing on the inside of the wrist, warming up that space so that you are feeling that beautiful, loving energy going into the area of tension, the area of pain. Okay, we're going to the other side. So the warming action will help to encourage that blood, your chi, your prana, your life force, putting that wonderful energy into the areas of pain. Okay, and now I'm just doing this moving action of rubbing. And now I'm gonna take that same rubbing, twisting kind of action and go into each finger. So I'm on my middle finger, ring finger, and the baby pinky finger. And I want you to just take a breath here. <sighs> Notice the feeling from this arm, the one that you've worked on versus the other one. Interesting. Let's do the other side. Okay. So now I'm massaging, starting from the elbow, all the way going down. Sometimes when we have wrist pain, it goes all the way to the wrist, doesn't it? It goes all the way to the elbow. And that's why we were working also on the shoulder and the back of the body. Sometimes it comes from there too. So again, nice, gentle, warming, loving, rubbing action. Let's go on the inside. And if you're like me and you're not so good with that left hand, maybe you might wanna do something like this. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, so now I'm just gentle, rubbing, twisting action here. And then I'm going to go all the way back down to my thumb, my index finger, my middle finger, the ring finger, and lastly, the baby finger. Okay, now I want you to shake it out. Interlace the fingers, roll out the wrist. Nice deep breath, switch ways. And then show me your best roller coaster. And then can you do it the other way? How smooth can you go? Very good, now release. Let's take a deep breath here. <sighs> Wonderful, let's take our hands to our heart. I hope, I hope your wrists feel better from this. Namaste.